to those old boys of the club. And I do think they matter tremendously, don't they? Those who, when they've left the club, come back and lend a hand to help others as they've been helped themselves. That matters tremendously, I'm quite certain. And therefore, may I, Mr. President, on your behalf, I believe, on behalf of everybody here, just voice that expression of gratitude to all those who helped to make this club what it really is, one of the cheeriest and best clubs in the whole of this country. And may I finally say to you all, as the, as the, the period of cheer is here, You've had some ham tonight. Goodness only knows what you'll have on Christmas Day. If you scoff it up as quickly as you scoff the ham, you'll do jolly well. And may you all have a cheery Christmas and the best of luck in the year to come. I'll now call upon Mr. Goodyear to announce the results of Club Week House Competition together with the winner of the Smith Trophy. Mr President, Mr Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys, uh, I think you will have guessed this year who has won the House Competition, uh, especially when one remembers the effort of one individual boy, but I'll come to that later. Well, here are the results. Nicholson House, 35 pounds, 10 and fourpence. Wiley House, 23 pounds, 4 and 10 pence at me. Another side, 22 pounds, 18 and 10 at me. And Murray House, 21 pounds, 3 and 8. Therefore, Nicholson House wins the first 10 points in the house competition for this year. The competition for the Smiths Trophy has this year been won by a member of the uh, Nicholson House. Uh, in fact, he's one of the House captains. I refer to Eric Batley, who has certainly set up uh, a unique record in this club uh, in his effort. He has approached 199 people, at least 199 people on his cards, his 11 cards, and there's a grand total of 12 pounds, 5 and 6 pounds. If any of you have yet bought a VB diary, you'll see one of the pictures or photographs in that diary of a boy from a company last year who raised over nine pounds and they made a special uh, photograph of it and all the rest. Well, I'll let you into a little secret that I've written Brigade Headquarters and told them about this effort of Eric Bartlett's. I haven't told them about this before. Uh, I didn't want to get him all upset, but if the photograph has come around to your house, Eric, don't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we are proud of that achievement, but uh, I could go on and tell a long story about it. I think every man at Middleton Pitt has contributed to this. <laughs> Uh, I'm told that uh, one chap said he hadn't any change, but then he says, oh, well, I've, I've 19 shillings here. <laughs> he couldn't get away from it. And uh, I should guess that there'll, there'll be about 199 people works in Middleton Pit. Is that right, Eric? <laughs> 201. <laughs> but, uh, we do congratulate him, uh, but we mustn't lose sight of the other boys who did a good job of work. Uh, we have the lad who last year uh, got the award. I refer to Brian Smith, uh, Brian Swift, who this year had 142 subscribers on his seven cards and raised four pounds ten. Then we have Ernest Lowther. You remember the boy who won the, the trophy for three years in succession. <coughs> he is still one of the top lads. And then there's Jeffrey Key, there's Jimmy Bywater, and uh, I, refer, I think at the moment of those lads, particularly those two boys, one who made a rug and brought it in and he'd worked, he must have worked a long time on that rug and brought it in and gave it as a gift to be sold at the in Club Week. And then our friend, I think he's behind me, Alfie, who brought in that marvellous accordion that everybody coveted and gave that as a gift to be sold in Club Week. Well, that's the sort of spirit that makes our club what it is. And to you younger lads, uh, I say, uh, if you can copy the, the lads we have in the, the club, the older boys in the club we have at the moment, this club is going to rise to much higher uh, things than we've had before. I feel very 
happy uh, at the moment, the way things are going down, down here. And I feel that although last year we won a lot of trophies, and we're, we're very proud to show with the light in there, I feel sure we can get one or two more next year. The rugby team have promised two trophies, and there's something happened today that I must mention. <laughs> Everybody knows what the management committee is, so I'll tell them now. Our minor league soccer team have won the first match for two years. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the finest thing comes out of that sort of thing because these lads play every Saturday. You don't hear them grousing. They're down out whether they win or lose, or whether, whether they lose or whatever. <laughs> They enjoy their football. Oh, well, that's the sport. It doesn't matter what we win. If we get the right attitude to the thing, the trophies will come in time. Well, this happens to be the first round of, was it the second round of the cup? We've got, we're going to buy in the first round. We're in the semi final of the cup. <laughs> of the <final. laughs> uh, if only we could win the next hurdle, we should be at Leeds United Ground on Easter Monday morning. We'll let you all know if we get it. <laughs> But the rugby team, well, the rugby team, we, we, we're proud of the achievements of those school teams. Uh, Grant said, we, we, we're hoping that something will come out of them this year as far as uh, trophies go, but even if it doesn't, we've got the, the right attitude. We have one boy, as you've heard, playing at rugby today. Uh, we might have had two, but one lad unfortunately developed a, an abscess in his mouth and couldn't play, Robert Reed, and Harry Dale is gone, and he's a member of the junior rugby team. Well, I feel quite confident that Harry will do his stuff to be chosen, but I think I'm right in saying that in a short while there'll be the county uh, competition coming on, and we hope to get some boys in there. Well, that's right <coughs> away from what I started to say, it's lovely, but this, the spirit is permeated, I hope, and I'm sure I'm right, uh, throughout uh, all of our activities. <coughs> well, now, uh, that's all I have to say, excepting this, that on behalf of Mr. Harry and myself, I wish every one of you a very, very happy Christmas, and may 1954 be the best ever again. <laughs>